Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't want to swear on the YouTube. <laughs> Today's adventure takes us to Canada's second largest ski area, Sun Peaks, which has three skiable peaks and over 130 runs. We started making our way here yesterday with an overnight stop in Walter at a Costco car park. It snowed so much overnight, so there were very slippery road conditions making for an interesting drive up the mountain. This is our first overnight trip for the season because van life in winter is cold, guys. It's cold. <laughs> Everything is frozen. But we were stoked to pay just $15 to stay and explore the mountain for two whole days. We actually had a chance to explore here last season, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out after this one. Good morning. Morning, guys. It's so cold. We are slightly cold. As you can see, everything is frozen. We are currently at Sun Peaks. We camped overnight here in their car park. Just $15 to camp here for the night and Van life in winter is kind of sucky. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's sucky, I'd just say it's it's cold and it's a bit harder. Like I currently have a jumper, a shirt, a thermal, beanie, fluffy thermal pants, fluffy socks on just to try and keep warm. And then like you're bringing snow into the car and I don't know, it's not a vibe, but it's definitely warmer in here than the last time we were here because we've got all that new insulation that we put in over summer, so I'm very thankful for that, but there's still so much ice on like all of the windows. So I wouldn't say it's sucky. <laughs> I would just say it's slightly more challenging. Today we are going to head out onto the mountain. It's had so much snow here the last two days. Like yesterday when we were here, it was just non-stop snowing all day. I think you're gonna go out for a board this morning. I'm gonna go out for yeah. a board. So yeah. Let's get into the day, shall we? Yep. So much snow just fell in. First up for the morning is to go to the day lodge because we don't have a toilet in the van. Yeah, I need to go to the toilet. We just got ourselves onto the Sunburst chairlift. It's the only chairlift that you can go up during the winter as like a foot passenger, which is technically what I am. And there's a cafe at the top. So we're gonna go get some breakfast. And a coffee. <laughs> a coffee. <laughs> it's me, by the way. <laughs> just in case, you know, thought I was just somebody else. Chelsea's on the lift, so we're gonna go past her and see if we can catch up to her. I hope I can catch her. It's going quicker than I thought. This fluffy stuff's so good. I just had breakfast and chilled out at the top of the mountain now, coming down and enjoying these incredible views where Brandon goes out for a ride. Just incredibly beautiful. So, so lucky to be able to experience beautiful things like this. Brandon's just through these trees. I don't know if we're going to be able to see him. <laughs> but I could hear him yelling at me. Here he is. Yo. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> Look at that butt. Okay, now we're off the mountain. Let's go take you for a little bit of a tour around the actual village itself. So the great thing about coming to ski resorts is you don't have to be boarding or skiing to get out on the mountain and still enjoy it. You've seen today they have the option to go up the mountain still and have some beautiful breakfast. You can go snowshoeing. We actually did a snowshoe the last time that we were here at Sunpeaks, which was so much fun. I absolutely love snowshoeing. It's just a great way to like get out on the mountain without having like to be boarding and snowing and all those strenuous things. You can actually just like slow down a little bit and enjoy a bit more of the nature. I love the Sun Peaks Village to have a little bit of a look through. I love like all their cobbled stones on all of the walls and just there's so much variety there. So you can go get a massage, you can get chocolate or donuts or meals or Asian food. We went and had Japanese last night, which was just amazing. So you do get a chance to come to Sun Peaks, especially if you're not a border or a skier, don't worry. There's still plenty of things to do and you will still enjoy it. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful mountain. Such 
a stunning place this joint, like massive hill, second biggest hill in Canada like we said earlier in the video and it's got great terrain for all types of riders which is pretty sick and one the wet spot. runs in the distance, that's where we're heading. Another good thing about this place is there's like cat tracks like what I'm on now they go to pretty much every lift around the village so if you like scope out your runs right you can pretty much get most of the way around the mountain without having to unbind and start walking which is good because that gets quite old and here you're going through like people's backyards so like, look at these houses up here nearly ate it i don't know if you can see it but behind them trees there all the way at the top the end of my finger that's where we started this morning so i'd love to know the distance we've traveled i know that one run from the top of the lift, I can't remember what lift off the top of my head, Chelsea can put it here. That lift, or that run from there is five miles from the top to the village, so just in a bit of perspective of how big this place actually is. I wonder if this sign knows what run I should do. What run do you think I should do? Yep. Me either. I don't know. I might do this run. I wish I could have Chelsea out here with me. I really just can't wait until she's back on the board. I'm missing being able to go out of there. But not long now, she'll be back. And I'm super proud that she wants to get back on the board after her crash. Because, I mean, fracture in your back. She wants to get straight back out. She wanted to get out straight away. But She's basically saying in the hospital that she wants to go back on the hill, so I could not be more proud of you, Chills. And hurry up and do everything that you're told so you can get back out of here quicker and we can enjoy this together, because this is amazing. And I miss my best friend being able to do it with me. us doing a take two because um i didn't have the microphone tucked in but what we were saying or plugged in it's time to go home it's getting really really cold cameras are dying on us gopro's being stupid so we're going to get all of our gear off well i guess brandon get all of his gear off and then time to hit the road for the drive home hey yup 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 Joys of driving in a Canadian winter.